Today, we're drawing a dog, letter D. You're going to need three things for our drawing today. A pencil, an eraser, a piece of paper. You can just get the paper out of your printer. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. And you might want to look for a marker or a black crayon. That would be another item you could use. And that will be for outlining our drawing when we're all done. You can see that I've got a black outline. I just used a marker, but if you don't have a marker, you can use a crayon or a black colored pencil would work also. So pause the video, go get those items, and then meet me back here and we're gonna draw a dog today. Are you back? All right, I'm gonna be scooting over my pictures of the dog today. So as you can see by this picture, this dog is very near and dear to my heart. This is our dog. His name is Boomer, and he lived for about nine years, which is very long for uh, St. Bernard. That's the type of breed of dog he is. And these are my kids sitting behind him. And as you could see, Boomer was really big. He weighed about 120 pounds. And he was so big that when I would take him for a walk, he basically took me for a walk. Uh, I had the best, best, best dog in the world. I miss him so much, and I hope to one day get another dog. Do you have a dog? Well, we don't have one anymore, but I sure wish we did. Now, remember, the last time we did our lesson, I drew a rectangle on my paper, I mean, on my board here to represent the paper, and that paper that you are having in front of you, you're going to put tall today, tall, which is called vertical. So I'm going to draw a rectangle. Remember, you're not drawing this. This is just my pretend piece of paper up here. All right, so the only items you need right now is your eraser and your pencil. So your pencil is what I'm using here. This is, I'm using my marker, but you're gonna pretend that um, this is a pencil. So we always find the middle of our paper when we're drawing. So the middle of my paper here in my dog drawing would be right here. So in my paper, I'm gonna take my pencil and make a little dot. So you make a dot in the middle of your paper. And normally we would be working right in the middle, but today we're gonna to actually scoot over just a tiny bit to the right side. And the reason why is this is the middle of my paper. We need to save a little room for his tail. So we wanna kind of scooch his body over just a tad. So I'm gonna draw my first shape, which is gonna be a circle. We're gonna be drawing his chest. And as you can see, it's just a circle. So right here around this dot, I'm going to draw a circle, but I'm going to bring it over just a tiny bit over from the middle of the paper. Go ahead and draw your circle. Now, once you do, you're going to erase the dot. We don't need that anymore. And the next thing we're going to draw is another circle above this circle. And once we do that, this is going to be the number eight. So we're going to actually take the number eight and turn it into a dog. Okay, so once we have a circle here and a circle here, uh, we can change the shape a little bit later, but for now, just keep it a circle. Now we're going to move on to his front legs. So in our dog picture, we're going to be drawing his front legs right here. So I'm going to be drawing a straight line right underneath that part of his chest. So I'm going to draw a straight line down. And then I'm gonna draw a medium length line that goes across like this. These are gonna be his front paws. And we're gonna line this up with the side of his chest. And I'm gonna draw another line that comes down here, not all the way to the bottom, and one on this side. And then I'm gonna draw a rainbow that goes a little bit past that line. See how it goes a little bit farther past? I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. We're gonna add some toes later. All right, now before we move on, let's double check our work. Are your front feet about the same size? If not, pause the video and then fix it and then 
push play again. Anytime I am going too fast for you, please pause the video. All right, we're gonna move over and we're gonna draw his back now. So I'm gonna start right up here where his neck would be and I'm gonna be drawing a swooping curve that comes down around and stops right about where the top of his foot is. So I'm gonna go right here. This is gonna be his back and his bottom. I'm just gonna go like this. Go ahead and draw that. And then I'm gonna draw his back foot here. Now, here's a little trick. If you're drawing a foot in the distance, in the background, it is going to be a little bit higher than the feet in the front. So you notice here on my foot, he's a little bit higher, that back foot is, than these ones. So I'm gonna start by drawing the bottom of his foot first a little bit higher than these feet. So I'm drawing the line a little bit higher. And I want it to go a little bit past this area here. And then I'm just gonna swoop it up and do a rainbow curve. It's gonna overlap this line because his foot is in front of his back leg. And then I'm going to erase this line inside of his foot. We don't need it anymore. I'm gonna add the letter C curve right here for one of his toes. Now I'm gonna to come to this foot here. I'm gonna draw the letter C. I'm gonna leave a kind of a big space right here and draw a backward C next to it. I'm gonna do the same thing on this foot, letter C and the backwards letter C for his toe. Okay, now the next part is his tail. So I'm gonna go over here to the back of his rump area and I'm gonna draw a curving line for his tail. I'm gonna be giving him kind of a fat tail because I'm gonna be making my puppy fuzzy or furry but you might wanna have more of a smooth dog. So later we're gonna to get to that. We'll decide what kind of fur or short fur or long fur that we're gonna do for our dog. Now, if you uh, were watching my letter B animal drawing lesson, I taught you how to draw a bear and I talked about the bear's muzzle. That's that big, large area right here on a dog that you would pet. So let me show you the muzzle on this picture. So our dog's name, is Boomer. This is not Boomer, but oh my goodness, it looked just like him. So I found this picture and I fell in love with this picture because that's really what Boomer used to look like. And this is the muzzle on a dog, this part right here, just like a bear. So to draw the muzzle, I'm going to be taking my pencil and I'm going to be drawing a wide circle or oval to draw the muzzle for the dog right here. So I'm just going to come here in the middle of his face, and I'm gonna draw a big wide circle or oval. Now I made mine overlap a little bit on his chest here. You don't have to, but I made mine kind of big. Now if I if I am doing that and I'm overlapping something, I'm gonna erase the part inside because we don't need that anymore. And then I'm gonna make his face a little bit more full. So I'm gonna curve his jaw down a little bit wider on this side. And this side also, just a little bit wider. And we don't need that circle anymore. So I'm gonna erase the circle here and the circle here. Make sure that the jaws are about the same size. Jaw, I just need the side of the face right here where he's fluffy. And then we're gonna give him a nose. So the nose is going to go right in the middle of the muzzle and we're gonna be drawing an oval laying on its side. So I'm just gonna draw a wide oval on its side and a short line down. And then I'm gonna be drawing an upside down V. So I'm gonna show you close up in my drawing what I mean by an upside down V. You see those two lines that come down? 
also, it really shows up in this photograph. Can you see that? See how there's a short line down from the nose and then there's two lines here that separate the two sides of his mouth. So I'm gonna draw upside down V right there. And this is a little too small for his lower chin. So I'm gonna make this a little larger. So I'm gonna erase this part right here and just make it a little bit wider. He's starting to look like a dog. All right, the next part is going to be his eyes. And a dog's eyes are right next to his muzzle. So you want to make sure that you're drawing his eyes right on the edge. So I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to draw a wide, tall oval. on both sides and then to draw his eyeball I'm just going to draw a curved smile line in about the middle of that oval and then I like to color it in slightly I know you're using your pencil right now but later you can do this also with your marker or your colored pencils so I like to put a little shiny light in his eye, you see right there? And then that lower part is the iris of his eye, and we can color that with our colored pencils or crayons later. Okay, moving on to the dog's ears. So if you're doing a puppy, uh, his ears, I'm gonna make his ears kind of floppy, but you could decide later what style ears you want to do. And I'm gonna start by drawing a line that's coming down on an angle and a line that's coming down on an angle on this side. Because I want his ears kind of flopping down. And if you look at the shape of the ears on a dog, you see that here, they're wide and then they taper down and they kind of have a little curve at the bottom. So that's what I'm gonna be drawing. So I'm just gonna bring them out, down, make a little looping curve at the bottom. I'm going to do the same thing on this side, out, down, and a little looping curve on the bottom. And then you want to make the ears kind of in front of the face. So I'm going to bring them overlapping the face a little bit here and overlapping the face a little bit here. You see how they overlap? And then we're going to erase this part of the ear, or actually the face. We're erasing the face out of the ear. We don't need that anymore. We're also gonna erase the circle right here. I want you to make sure that you don't connect this line all the way up to the top. I used to draw my ears like this, but it doesn't look natural. It looks kind of like he has an ear taped onto his face, right? That doesn't look natural. So erase a little bit of that line up at the top, and that's going to make his ear look a little bit more natural. All right, now the next part of your puppy is to decide what um, kind of markings is he going to have. So for instance, in a St. Bernard, um, he has a very distinctive marking. He has a white strip of fur here, and then he has these big eye patches. So when I was drawing my drawing, I did that. But if you notice this one up here, I colored it different. Maybe you're going to do like a golden retriever puppy. You don't even have to add these eye patches if you don't want to, but you can. So in order to draw that, I'm just going to go right here in next to his eye and draw kind of a very soft kind of patch of fur around his eye. And I'm kind of doing it a little bit more fuzzy like this. Now you could draw some patches somewhere else later once we're done drawing everything because we're going to just do it one step at a time. Now let's go down and start to fix his body because right now he doesn't really look very cute because he's not fuzzy. He just looks like a circle. 
So we're gonna start to change it up and make him look more natural, like a real dog. So the first thing is, I'm gonna start up here at the top of the head. I do not want a bald dog. So I'm gonna give him a little fur up here. Now I'm gonna be using my finger for erasing for the rest of the lesson. You're gonna be taking your eraser and erasing just a light touch on your pencil drawing. So um, you're gonna take your eraser and just lightly erase the top of the head. Do you notice how you can still see the line on the head of my dog? You're gonna be erasing it. So you still can see the image of the old line, but now you're gonna make them fuzzy. So I'm just gonna give them a little bit of fur on the top of the head. So let's talk about fur. I taught you this lesson with the bear drawing and if you haven't done that lesson yet you're going to have to go back and try that one it's really fun but a dog a cat any animal that has fur their hair grows curving down it doesn't grow growing straight out so if i'm going to draw fur let's say on his chest it doesn't grow straight out like this this doesn't look natural right it kind of looks like he has cactus cactus spines stuck in him or toothpicks so when you're drawing fur, you want to make sure that it curves slightly down. So if I was going to give his chest some fur, I'm going to lightly erase the side of his chest. So go ahead and erase that side of the chest. And then you're going to draw some quick, short lines that go out and they're curving down. So I'm just going to go like this very softly and draw some fur. I want you to do the same. So you can see right here, I'm just drawing it very softly. I'm not pushing hard. I'm doing it real quick. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side of his chest. I'm gonna erase this and then add some fur, drawing those lines curving down. I'm gonna erase this part here and here. We don't need that line anymore. And instead, I'm gonna replace it with a little bit of fur. And then I'm just going to add a little bit more fur in a few spots up on his chest. All right, let's work on his back now. So I'm going to erase that hard line of his back. Here you're going to use your eraser. I'm using my finger. And then I'm going to give him a little bit of fur on his back. All my lines are curving down, all the way down to his foot. I'm going to give him a little fur on his tail, so I'm going to lightly erase it. And I'm going to go in and give him a little bit of fur on his tail. Now, if you wanted a dog that had more smooth fur that's very short, there are dogs like Labs that don't have really long hair, you could keep it just smooth and you can leave the straight line. Now, his legs, I'm going to give him a little bit of fur, so I'm going to erase the uh, outer line of his front foot here his leg, and then I'm gonna erase the outer line on the other leg. I'm just gonna furry up that middle section. And then we're gonna work on putting a little fur on the top of that rainbow shape of his foot. So same thing, I like to start in the middle and give him a little fur. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, just a little bit. I'm gonna erase that back foot. And then right here in this space right here, I want you to add a gentle curved line right here. That would be his stomach, his belly. Now, we're going to go up to his ears. You're going to decide if you want his ears fuzzy or not. And if you are making them furry, you just want to put very short hair. You don't want his ears really long, and you don't want the hair long. You could make his ears longer, by the way. So let's say you're like, oh, I really wish his ears were longer. My dog has very long ears that hang down. Well, then just extend his ears down a little longer. So I'm going to make his ears a little longer to show you what I mean. Okay, when you're finished, you can give them two little eyebrows up there if you want to, you don't have to. 
And then I'm going to talk to you about the nose. That's the last part. So the nose. I want to show you two different tricks for the nose. So the first way, the easiest way, is just to color his nose very softly with your pencil or colored pencil or marker, whatever you're using, and leave a little highlight up at the top. See, he looks just adorable right there. So all I did was I just used my pencil, well, my marker, and I'm leaving a little highlight up at the top, a little white spot. But I'm going to show you this style nose. So this is more the natural style of the dog nose. I want you to look at it close up here. Let's see if I can hold it. There you go. So you can see that there's a little seam, like a little line in the middle of his nostril, and then two holes where his nose is. So if you want it to look a little bit more uh, natural, then the way to do that, I'm going to draw it a little larger over here. You just draw your oval the same way we did before. And then you're going to draw a split right up here. So I'm going to draw a little line through the middle. And then the nostril part is just kind of like a worm shape that comes in here. And a little curvy worm shape that comes in here. This part you would shade a little darker with your pencil colored pencil, crayon, whatever you're using. And then when you get ready to color it in later with whatever you're using, you would leave a little shiny light up in the corner and you'll color it in. It's not going to look as good with my marker. Yours will look a lot better because you're going to be using a pencil or a colored pencil. So that's how I did my nose here. All right. I hope you had fun learning how to draw a dog today. Um, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. If you're having fun learning how to draw these animals and you're enjoying this the way I'm enjoying teaching you, I want you to subscribe so that you won't miss any lessons. Our next letter is going to be E. I already know what I'm going to be doing for the letter E. I hope you can come and join me for our next session. Keep practicing. Um, that's one thing I do want to talk to you about. I don't want your drawing to make you feel nervous or stressed. And sometimes we think things have to be perfect. And we spend all day working on something and we keep erasing and erasing and our paper gets all wrinkled because we're working so hard for it to be perfect. And I don't want you ever to worry about something being perfect. We're just having fun. We're just learning how to draw. The more we practice, the better we get. And um, I will see you the next time we do a lesson. I hope you had fun today. So thank you for joining me.